Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Christmas project. So today we are actually doing two projects in one. We are making little dog ornaments. They are little dog bones and little tiny puppies out of resin and then adding a few of these rascals names to them with my Cricut. So you can do, you know, one version or both versions of this. You can add one dog's name. I have five dogs and my mom has six. So I'm making a few for her and a few for me because it is really hard to find custom ornaments for dogs when you have so many, or you just have to buy like six of them and who wants to do that? So I thought this would be a fun way to make a whole bunch of them and then customize them with our own personal doggies names. Huh girls? Yeah. Hi ladybug. So first I'm going to show you how to pour the resin. It is a silicone mold. So if you have one dog, you could make one. If you have multiple dogs, you can make multiple. And then we will use my Cricut Joy actually, cause it's just a quick, easy little vinyl project to personalize it. Now, if you're not looking to personalize it, they are still adorable little silicone molded resin dog bones. Obviously resin is toxic to animals. So you do not want to make these for your dogs but they would be just super cute ornaments in different colors, different glitters, different glitters. Getting distracted, different colors for your tree. I kind of feel like if you would put even like lights in them or behind them, you could do like a whole string of them, like a lighted garland of dog bones. I don't know. I'm making Christmas ornaments because I want custom dog ornaments for my tree and as a present for my mom. So we're going to get started with pouring the resin and then we will hop into Cricut Design Space and I will show you how I just literally type out the names, size them for the ornaments and then place the vinyl on each of the little dog bones. I also very quickly add a little eye hook to each of the ornaments so that I can hang them on the tree. But this is a very easy beginner level project. Even if you've never poured resin or you've never used a Cricut before, it's very simple and I will walk you through it. So let's stop talking. Let's start working. You ready, Suge? Let's do it. All right, y'all. So let's jump right in to mixing our resin. So we are going to start by putting on all of our protective gear because that is always the most important. So, dun -dun -dun -dun. go ahead and put on my gloves, put on my respirator. And now I am going to make several projects at once, even though I'm going to be showing you these projects one at a time. And so in order to make the four or five different fall projects I'm working on, I'm going to go ahead and mix 900 milliliters of resin, and then I'll split it between those projects. I will put on the screen here how many milliliters we use for each individual project on that video. Um, and I am of course using my Total Boat Maker Poxy. This is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. If you want a full in-depth mixing tutorial for resin, I did just release my resin for beginners course. I will link that down below. I go over every single step in detail for all kinds of things, but mixing resin is lesson number one, because if you're going to make anything with resin, kind of an important step. But for today, I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to mix 900 milliliters of resin here, and then we will get started with our individual fall projects. I'm so excited. We have so many fun things to make today. So as always, just dun -da -da -dun. One pump. So one pump. I'll be back once this is all mixed up and ready to roll. All right, so we've got our resin all done and we are going to start to fill up our little ornaments here. So I'm going to make these clear because once they are done being or resined, I am going to add either I'm not sure yet, either names or photos or little pieces of my pup, not 
pieces of my pup. I'm going to add my dog's names or photos to the back. So I want the fronts to be crystal clear, no bubbles, no imperfections all the way through. So you can really read that. So go ahead and start pouring in a thin stream for the bones. These are actually, I think, ice cube trays. So we will see, a little too much, a little too much, uh, what the finish is. If they are not shiny, sometimes ice cube or baking trays don't leave them the resin crystal clear. That's all right. We will uh, put a top coat on them when they're done. But for now, I'll do three Scotties, six bones. Ooh, that's so cute. Okay, so we used about about 50 milliliters of resin for those. So go ahead and I'm gonna pop any bubbles that I see. You can see that is very crystal clear. I don't want any bubbles down in the little ears or tail or anything like that. They look good. I'm going to set these aside to cure for 24 hours. And then after we unmold them, I will go ahead and we will decide what exactly we want to add to the back. I'm not, not exactly sure until I see what they look like. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I will see y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all, you ready for this? Doggy bones. So I am going to be adding, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna just do names or if I'm gonna try names and pictures. I'm just not sure that pictures will that I'll be able to find pictures that will fit on these properly. But, oh, we're gonna try. So, go over to Cricut Design Space and let's uh, see what kind of, what we can design. Oh, look at the little doggies. Oh, and they have little eyes. They have little eyes, y'all. They're so cute. Now, these are little Scotties, and I have Dachshunds and a Yorkie. So, Scotties, to me, kind of look like my Yorkie. They don't really look like my Dachshund. So, that's why I only made a few of these. But, you know, when you're working with ice cube trays, you do what you can. The other thing is that when you're working with ice cube trays, they're not meant for that glossy, shiny surface. So you can see that the resin on this side is glossy and clear. And the resin on this side has a matte texture from the mold. So if you like that, I mean, you could add the names on the front here. If you want it to shine through from the back, you can easily top coat these with a clear coat of resin and they will be just as shiny and perfect on the front as they are on the back. So let's go ahead and design some stuff to put on these. Excited. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So for Cricut Design Space, we're going to just select new project, get a brand new canvas, and we're not doing anything fancy for these designs. They're going to be very small. So I'm going to type out the names of my dogs, and I'm going to pick a font that can be cut that's very simple. So I picked um, Bebas Nouveau because that's just a very like kind of block font. It's one in my system that I use quite a lot. You could easily use something like a bold Helvetica that would be very similar. From here, I'm just going to copy this name and I'm going to paste it a bunch of times so that I can, <laughs> so that I can write out all the names of my dogs. So I have five dogs, mom has six, so I'm doing quite a few of these. Obviously, if you don't have as many dogs, you won't need as many names. 
So this is going to take a second. From here, I am going to do two different colors of vinyl because I want to make mine pink and mom's gold. So we'll go ahead and we'll adjust that once we get all the names written out. So here we go. All five or six of uh, mom's dogs, Coco Cookie, Cookie, Coco Cookie, Koopa, Daisy, Bowser, and Slim. And now we'll copy and paste. Cannot seem to decide what I want to copy and paste. There we go. For my girls. Now, some of my girls have longer names, so we're going to have to resize these eventually because obviously they're huge for our little dog bones right now. But let's start by writing everything out. Cinnamon and um, Princess are the two that have longer names. So we're going to have to double check that those will fit before we cut them. Perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start resizing these. after we adjust the color. So up here to the right of the font, we can pick our color. Now it doesn't really matter what color, but I like to pick a color that coordinates with my vinyl. That way it just helps me to keep which vinyl I'm loading into the machine and which color on the screen is that way that when they match, I know I've got the right mat. So I just picked a gold and a pink and now we'll resize them. So each name needs to be resized um, to 0.25 high. It needs to be a quarter of an inch high to fit on our ornaments. And we want to rename them or re-height them, resize them. There's the English I was looking for. One at a time because we don't want all of them to be 0.25. We want each of them to be 0.25. From there, we might need to readjust a little bit on the longer dog's names, but I, I'll measure and I believe that they do fit. You'll have to check individually your names with that. So now we're going to change everything to the joy because that's what I'm using. You can use any machine for this. It's just cutting vinyl, but I want to use smart vinyl without a mat. So the joy is super quick and easy for this. Just be able to like pop those colors in. So that's perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and browse the materials and we're going to select that permanent vinyl. Perfect. And of course you can use removable vinyl. You would just need to really seal in, seal everything in with a top coat of resin. If you use permanent vinyl, you probably are good to go. So I always pick more pressure. I find it just cuts better. I don't know if that's true, but it makes me feel better. So that's what I do. And then we are going to go ahead and go to our actual Cricut machine to load our material. Since it is a smart material, we'll feed it directly into the mat. And once it's set, we'll come back here and we will click go. The little green button in that bottom right corner. So when we go to the real world, perfect. And I will show you the materials. So here is my machine and my transfer tape and all my ornaments. We're gonna start by opening that vinyl and selecting the first kind of uh, color. I think we're gonna do the gold first. It doesn't really matter. You can do either one first as long as you have the right mat selected. But this is just a, it's a pretty color. It has a gold, a pink, and a blue in this little box. They're very bright and cheery colors, which is what I was going for. All right, so you can see if you've never worked with Smart Vinyl before that it has a white backing and that is in lieu of the mat. So we're gonna feed it in and then go over to the computer and hit go. And once we hit go, it will start to feed the material in. It's going to measure it, make sure you have enough. We're not doing a lot here. We're just doing one row of names. So obviously with a brand new roll, we have enough. And then it will start to cut. It's not quite as fast as say when you're using smart vinyl on your maker three or your explore air three. But again, we're only doing one row and it's, it's pretty darn fast. Let's go ahead and watch a cut.
All right, it is all done. So from here, we're going to set that aside and we will move over to the other mat and it's exact same thing for the pink. We'll load it in and then we will tell the machine to go from our computer and then we will watch it cut. All right, now that everything is done and cut, we're going to go ahead and put our joy aside because we are done cutting, done, done, done. Bring y'all in a little closer for this close-up work. And now I'm just gonna grab my paper cutter to go ahead and cut a straight slice across these rolls and remove our, um, our cut pieces from the rolls so we can put the rolls away. Now, we can get pretty close when we're slicing on the bottom here. When you use smart vinyl, it does, it does, I don't want to say waste, but it does waste quite a bit of vinyl on the top of the cut that it needs to pull into the machine before it can cut. So you'll see, it's okay. I just slice that off and we can put that in our excess vinyl to use the next time we have a small project like this. Just because we won't be able to use it as smart vinyl, we can still pop it on a cutting mat and use it um, for regular vinyl. There's nothing wrong with that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put these away so they do not get messed up. I really like that blue. It's very dark. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I gotta do a project with that. These are very saturated colors, which was nice. I typically work with pastels, so it's always nice when I use some bright, bold colors, and I thought these would stand out really nicely on our little ornaments. Close up the box, which was silly. I'm going to need to open it in a minute, but whatever. Sometimes I make no sense even to myself. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut all of our little names apart so that we can weed them without accidentally messing up the name next to them. This is not necessary, but it just, it makes sense in my brain to have everything like individual. And like I said, I want to preserve that vinyl that we didn't use for a later project. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it all off. So just sliced carefully in between each of the names because when you put it on a mat the way we did, it's going to put them close together in order to use the least amount of vinyl possible. So once we slice this off, this entire top bar here is clean and can be used for a later project. Let's go ahead and do the pink and then we will get to weeding. 
And of course, if you've never done a vinyl project before, weeding is simple. You just use your weeding tool to remove all the negative parts. So the inside of the O, the vinyl around the letters, the, you know, inside the G, anything that you don't need, the negative space. So these little letters actually weeded very easily, but they're little. And so you just have to kind of watch that you're removing the right thing. <laughs> Dun, da, da, dun. reopening the box. Why did I do this? I wasn't thinking. Plus with a lot of vinyl, I can just slip these like down inside the roll. But since this is in a box, I had to reopen it. It doesn't matter. Easy enough. All right. Ready for some magic? This is not the magic. This is just separating. Unweeded. Weeding tool. We did. It's a miracle. Magic of editing. I didn't want y'all to have to watch me do all of that. All right. So now I've got some transfer tape. This stuff is the real magic. And we're just going to grab a very little piece and we will cut it to size, place it over each of our names, use that scraping tool to scrape, 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 and then transfer it to our ornament. Easy peasy. I will let y'all watch the magic.
All right, all finished. I love how they turn out. I need a few more bones for my last three, but Princess and Cinnamon are the longest names. So while I have a few more of the tiny dogs, they just won't fit. And um, you can see I made all of mine pink and mom's dogs are all gold. So I wanted to do all of hers first. That way I can get them wrapped and ready for her for Christmas. So they turned out so cute. Look at that. Look at Daisy. Daisy girl. Daisy, Bowser, Koopa, Slim, Coco, and Cookie. That's all of mom's babies. So I hope you liked this project. At this point, you can be finished. This is permanent vinyl, so it's really not going to come off, especially not of resin, because resin and vinyl bond really well. But if you want to make extra, you know, extra sure, you can always put another clear coat of resin over everything, especially because you can see of these I already shined up with a clear coat of resin see how shiny that is as opposed to like Koopa you have kind of a frosted look versus a clear look so if you put a clear coat on everything they will look like this if you don't they will look like this so I am going to go ahead and go put these on the tree take some pictures of them and then wrap moms up for Christmas I hope you liked this project it was pretty quick and easy whether you've used resin before it is definitely something you can do and you could use any Cricut machine but the joy was just the easiest when I'm doing these little projects especially with names it's so easy to just grab my joy grab some smart vinyl and just feed it through it takes I mean you saw it takes seconds so much easier than getting my big machines out so Love that. I will see y'all in the next project. Bye.